Hi, I'm Captain Dick Simmons from the popular and virus-free web series Red vs. Blue, and this is Lopez. Today we're here to talk to you about the only protection you need in this modern day and age, cyber security. Hey dickhead, what'd you do? I'm trying to get into the base's Wi-Fi and it keeps telling me I have the wrong password. That would be because I changed it to something more secure. More secure than password 123? Did you know that just the word password is the eighth most used password in the world? Yeah, I did. That's why we added the 1, 2, and the 3. A good password includes a random combination of letters, numbers, symbols, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, a few strings of Morse code, a small piece of ASCII art, and at least one haiku. The less likely you are to remember it yourself, the better. Whatever. Oh, and FYI, your changes kicked Lopez off the cloud. Huh. Oh well. Provided that you have a strong enough password to keep those pesky PC pirates out, you may think you're completely safe, right? Wrong. Even with a strong password, just the things you willingly download could still contain computer contaminants. The best way to prevent this is to install a firewall, which could be represented by this literal wall of fire I've constructed all around the entrances to the base. You see, with this firewall active, we can still send good things out into cyberspace, like my Firefly fanfiction script, Yes Serenity. But we can block bad things, like all those mean comments calling my script a bad typo. Hey Simmons! What the hell is going on? What's that, Griff? I can't hear you through my super awesome firewall! Cut the shit and let me into the base! I'm in the middle of catfishing Tucker, and I need to send him some photos of your mom! Sorry! You're gonna need the password to get in! Well, what's the password? I can't just say the password out loud, Griff. That's rule number one in password safety! That's dumb, and you're dumb! What? Still can't hear you from inside the firewall! You already made that joke, asshole! And just like that, another intrusion attempt defeated. In addition to a strong virus protection software, you also need to be careful about who you share your information with. One thing to look out for are email phishing scams. This is where hackers will email you posing to be a Nigerian prince or a model that shares all of your interests and is super into you, but just needs you to send her $4,000 for a plane ticket out to your box canyon. You'll know these are scams by the blatant spelling errors, poorly conceived premise, and the fact that it's someone's communicating with you via email. Psst, like anyone does that. Hello, Simmons. Yes, it is your very good friend, Caboose. We share the same interests and also live, basically, within the same area code. Anyway, I have some very personal and intrusive questions to ask for you. Remember, never give away personal data to an unverifiable source. Yes, I would just like to know if you want to go fishing. No, Caboose. Fishing with a P. Do you want to go pee fisting with me, Simmons? But phishing scams aren't the only way a hacker can pry information from you. They can also disguise harmful software inside of seemingly friendly software. This is called a- Hey Simmons, you suck! What do you want now, Griff? Oh, Lopez. See, si. soy yo Lopez. El Robo Americano Favorito de Todos. Wait a minute, Griff said you were kicked off the cloud. E, escuchaste. Ah, uh, esa, gorda, gorda. Tanta? You're right, Lopez. Clearly, I just needed to wait for you to reboot and refresh your IP address. <laughs> Esto es demasiado fácil. But now you need to get inside the base to help me beef up my security even further. Claro. Vamos. Con queso. Uh, con eso. Here, let me just lower the firewall for a minute and... Oh, wait a second. Say, Lopez, do me a favor and point to every square that has a stoplight in it. Okay, no hay luces de parada. Aha! Lopez is a robot and wouldn't be able to pass the captcha. Get out of his armor, Griff, I know it's you! God damn it, Simmons, just let me in! What we have here is a classic Trojan horse, one of the many ways hackers try to get into your system. If they have enough time on their hands, they could also try... Burn force! Damn, computer machine! What the hell are you doing? Simmons, some amateur arsonist must have hacked into the base's mainframe and set everything on fire! I'm gonna need you to stop, drop, and roll your way out of here and help me put it out! Sarge, stop! It's a firewall! I put it up to keep intruders out! What? You did this? <laughs> oh, good thinking, Simmons! I've always said that it's best to fight fire with absolutely nothing! Because fire can't be beat! Glad it's on our side! Now, let me in! It's almost time to upload the newest episode of my podcast! You have a podcast? Yeah, it's called Sarge Speaks with Sarge! I just kind of ramble on about things I'm interested in, like close-range weaponry, my favorite shades of red, and the exact coordinates and floor plan of our base. That was the Architecture episode. What? That's wildly unsafe. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't let you in. You traitor! I guess I can knock Maroon off my list. You see, you 
also need to be careful of what you're posting online willingly. You never know when word of your upcoming trip to Kokomo could fall into the hands of criminals looking to rob you blind. As such, you should never post anything ever about any facet of your life online for fear of being compromised. In fact, just stay away from social media in general. You'll thank me. Well, this thing's busted. What, you're just giving up? Of course not! I'm merely going back to base to call in reinforcements! But this is the base. <sighs> Fine. All right, look, I give up, okay? Clearly all of this added security is airtight and probably really helps some people not be idiots online, and I was wrong to call it dumb. Huh? What was that? That sounded like the start of an apology, but I didn't quite hear those two magical words. Bite me. Eh, close enough. Welcome home, Griff. It's good to be back, citizen. What the hell? I told you I'd be back with reinforcements! The base? No! All my hard work, all my VPNs, my Norton antivirus, my pop-up blocker with those little notifications telling me how much work it's doing. Oh, it's all gone. So, any security tips for what to do if someone just destroys your base? Yeah. Always have a backup. Do you remember what the password for Blue Base was? Oh no! You're not locking me out of this one too! What in Sam Hell? Wait a minute! Those damn computers must have destroyed the base again! Hey Simmons, we're gonna need better security on the Pronto! Thanks for checking out that episode of RVB. You can find the playlist to watch more below, or you can go to roosterteeth.com to check out the latest RT shows. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, or leave a comment.